This edition of The Writer's Bench featured award-winning artist Ayana Witter johnson the band Bella Rouche, and a solo turntablist performance by DJ Kortasok. The live painting was provided by Sam. about me and what I'm doing and more about how open I can be and focus I can be in the moment and how much I can let something like journey through me to them. So that's way, the way I approach it and the way I think about it. So I meditate and I breathe and I imagine being there. I imagine just sort of like rolling sounds that resonate in the space and I imagine it going straight into people's hearts and them taking a little bit of that with them and then doing whatever they want with it. from lots of things, old things, you know, um, things that are familiar to a lot of people, but I'm just trying to make it unique to the way in which I approach my art. Guerrilla filmmaker Mike Redman dropped by to give a preview of his latest documentary, Sample Not For Sale, a film which explores the controversial history of sampling culture. You know, how the music is constructed is a, is a culture on itself, of I think, you know, and I'm really interested also in, in, in sound, you know, and, uh, you know, attitude within the music, yeah. you know, uh, so, uh, yeah, that's what triggered me. It's the magic, you know, of that specific recording, that period of time, you know, that person playing the drums, you know, that specific mic, you know, that, you know, engineer, you know, all these elements, you know, so that's, that's really interesting to me. I think a lot of people, you know, need to know uh, who uh, the most important producers are, you know, what they did, you know, some producers are revolutionary, you know, in their way of producing. Now, uh, when I listen to music now, you know, top 100 tracks, you know, there's a lot of people that are not really interested in where this comes from. And I hear uh, music being recycled for the second time now, if not the third. Everybody's scared to get dirty hands, you know. Mm -hmm. Just dig in the crates. Yeah, dig in the crates, you know. I wanted to ask, how long did it take from beginning to finish, like the whole production? This actually took almost seven years. Um, this took so long because it was really hard, you know, just to, to get all the footage I wanted, um, uh, get to know, you know, or get in contact with, with the artists. Uh, yeah, so um, actually I can't hear anything about samples anymore. <laughs> <laughs>